Hi, welcome to this Mate desktop system. This is Arc Linux B, Mate 1904, so April. The look that you have in here is already a little bit changed. We have the surfing icons active and all these icons are looking, I guess, a little bit better than the Sadi icons. And that's why I've chosen for the standard surfing icons as well here in uh, Mate as in Cinnamon. There is a new package, a new, uh, well, Arch Linux Mate or Arch Linux Config Mate Git package. And I've set everything up with a Super F7. I'm launching VirtualBox. Arch Linux B Mate is already installed. It's a 1904. And we are going to update this system. So you can download it from SourceForge or Seedhost. There you will find a 1904. And this is what used to be the look. Next time, next month, we'll have a different look. And the look will be installed right now in this video. So this is what it used to be, look like. And you'll be the judge of it. But once the study icons become too small, I, they tend to lose the sharpness in the, in the circle icons. And that's no go. So I decided to go away, to move away from the Sardi and choose the other ones, surfing icons. All right, so let's update this system like everything else. Um, let's also make it, a, you see me pressing, con or you hear me pressing Control alt t nothing happens. So it's uh, still not active, not available, all these keyboard shortcuts. So I need to go to here, to here, to termite. Now let's make it also an educational video. Remember, first off, alias. There's lots of aliases in this, uh, well, in our clinics in general, right? There is the update, which I was going to type, so pseudo pacman minus syyu. But there is also something very specific about our clinics, and that's its scale. It's etc scale and its backup scale, all concerning with the fact that our updates are arriving in a folder called etc scale. So if you want to keep track of changes, if you want to know what's overwritten because scale is going to overwrite your data, then you do first a backup scale. What happens with a backup scale, control H, you get a folder that's called scale backup. That's the year, the month, the day, the hour, the minute, and the second. Okay, so this is the status the computer was at that particular time. And what did he do? It took a look at etc and scale. And everything that's in here is now also in that backup folder. So this is the situation after a clean installation and an ISO installed. That's it, no upda update done yet. So anything that's um, in here, if you do a scal, and the scal is just saying, copy paste me everything from A to B. Scal says copy paste everything that's in here to the home folder. So you're overwriting stuff. If you hear the word overwriting, maybe you say, I don't want it to be overwritten. So control H, uh, it was okay. <laughs> So the hidden folders must be visible. This is .config, that's the .local. Those guys are the most important. So Control C, Control V. You have already a copy. Same for the local, but less chance that you'll have something happening in here. Most of the stuff is happening in the config. Now that said, so we have now this red icon up here that says Look, Eric, there are updates, lots of them, right? So either do it here, or I suggest you start using the terminal because in the terminal, you do see some kinds information that you say, not just from Arch Linux, but also from Arch Linux and from AOR. Stuff that's written in here that you say, oh, I should take a look at that, or I should remember this or that. So we have, 
a question he's going to ask. Oh my God, it's so difficult from time to time to snap to it. There you are. This is a message that we receive if we do a clean installation. So they've made a replacement. You can make packages to replace another package. So yes, fine, do it. And then we install everything. When we do an update, an update means that you are installing Arch Linux elements and also Arch Linux elements. You can analyze it. It's a lot of information in here. But these are the stuff we develop. That's up here. All Arch Linux stuff. The things to take to, to look out for are the words Linux. I think with some luck we'll find it. Here is already Linux firmware and here is the kernel 507. And another one that's interesting to keep a track of. There's actually a new Samba in here as well. And I've tested already, everything keeps working, that's good. And a new system D, which is also important. And that's not to say that all the rest is not important, but just fishing out some stuff that's interesting for us. And the virtual box guest modules have to accompany an update like this. All right, when we want to scroll all the way down, you press spacebar or you scroll or just press spacebar and you're at the end of um, the update in this case. Okay, let's um, wait for this to happen. What can I explain in the meantime? Later on, we can install Control alt T is not working, Eric, not yet. We need to get the updates in. We have here the um, termites. So PKSYUA, you can actually run it already because he's smart enough to say, hey, look, um, there's a lock present. So the DB lock is present. Yes, sure, because we're installing in here. So that's normal. Or is it still downloading? No, this was the downloading part. This is the checking of the keys, checking of the package integrity, and then we start installing. The reason why I would like you to learn and the terminal and use terminal more because of messages like these. Sometimes they send us some messages and this is Arch Linux sending messages telling, hey guys, the files have been installed in etc scale, the files have been installed in etc scale, etc. So all these lines I hope they trigger you to say, oh, maybe I should copy paste the, in the content of etc scale to my own home directory. Otherwise, nothing will have changed on your system. Our configuration, our changes are in etc scale and will never ever be used unless you type scale, which is an alias to copy paste everything over. So a lot of stuff in here. Kaja was also a bunch of Kaja stuff and I mean of Mate stuff in general. So a lot of Mate updates in the meantime, which is good. This is desktop Mate. I believe there was a button somewhere about Mate. So this is the one. And uh, scrolling through. Here's all the Mate elements. So a lot of updates came in in this month. And we're almost there. Now, once this line, these guys are gone, or done, gone and done, then this guy, PKSYUA, or update me, the AUR, if that's done, if update is done, the only thing that rests, that, that, is, that still needs to be updated, is AUR stuff, Arch User Repository. And he's kicking in. There you go. Once the lock is gone. And these guys need to be uninstalled or installed, I mean. So that's good. Just checking if there was Umox like that present or anything like that. But um, it's not, so that's good. All right. No. All right. Everything is good. Did I now close it? 
Let's see. No, everything is still working. Fine. So point is, a lot of stuff was in ETC scale. And if things are there, then we need to basically tell the system, scale me everything. And while that's done, let's also do a backup scale. So remember we had two scales. We had a scale coming from prior the update and the update after the update. So before and after, right? In Thunar, Thunar is installed. Why? Because of all the beautiful things we have in the config custom actions. All these things, we do like to have them around because we want to develop. And you do compare. And in this case, maybe learn. And you, you, you are doing actually a melt. So the application is melt, compare between A and B. The left is the one from 1326. So this is the before. And that one is from 1333. So that's the after. So before update, after update. Things have changed. So you can see, you can follow what elements have changed. There was a, four, a version 4 for the fun apps. Now there's a version 5. Some names have been changed. 900 is, became 400 to fix Intel microcode, etc. The delete LTS kernel version 3 version 2 version 3 stay rolling is, has been changed and the stay rolling for april has been added there's the bonsai that's new the square that's new catfish settings are out we deleted those there's new conky troll a smooth information and some pictures for it set the wallpaper in variety and we've changed these files. And if you want to compare, because this one, I don't know what it is. So open it up and then you see, oh yeah, that's because we wanted to have the Arco wallpaper on all kind of terminals. So that's why it is included here. And what's more important is maybe the super Q. So a new shortcut, but of course, this is a file from XFCE. So this will work in XFCE solely. Where am I take, remember? And then the badge RC latest. So what did we create? We have a new alias. That's maybe something I should explain in a separate tutorial. But basically this is what you see and you compare the scale we had in the past, the scale we have now, and then you see there is a new bonsai here, a square here, some th things are gone, new conkeys are here, and it's very e easy and fast to follow along what we've changed. And let's assume now that something um, that you had is, uh, is gone. Okay, still installing. Then you compare these two guys. This is your copy. This is what you had before the update. And this is after the update and then the scale. So if anything is, is not the way you like, you just compare it again and say, okay, don't want to see the same. The same is not interesting just the difference, the new ones and the modified ones. And if you say, for instance, I don't know if there's anything in here, for instance, these two guys, and you've made your own, you made some changes in your uh, AUR Arcolinux, which is not the idea. Better is to make a copy paste and rename it. So AUR Arcolinux dash Eric. Dash Eric will never be overwritten. I wouldn't know your first name, all right? So, that's the best approach to do it. So copy paste and make uh, rename it. But assuming that you didn't, so you can always find again, the difference between A and B here is that just a line that was missing. So I delete this line here, right mouse click, I save it. And again, it's the same, okay? So that's how to proceed again, if you want to change anything. Here was the gap 40, you wanted to have, have the gap 30, you push it back to your your actual config because this is the one you use and this is just a copy. Okay, this is a backup kind of thing, this copy folder. And you save it again. And you can keep going like that, comparing elements. Like for instance, set wallpaper, let's have a look. There is a difference between our set wallpaper variety. Well, we have Qtile that's new. So each time we make a new desktop environment, we get new lines in here because, well, we have to make sure that variety 
is going to be able to set the wallpaper on Qtile, Xmonad, BSBWM. Awesome. Because it does not do it out of the box. These are Article Linux solutions. We figure things out and we put it in a config. And so on and so on. All right. So this is the same approach. It's just copy pasting and then figuring out what changed. Scale is coming from us. It copy pastes elements in here. But then again, you compare. Sorry. All right, done. Sudo reboot. Now we wait and see what the changes are. So our new ETC scal is new. New wallpaper, new icons, new this, new that. Let's have a look. This is going to be the May edition, right? Okay. I guess we forgot to do a scal. That's possible. Let's have a look. We should go to here. Termite. Scale. So now we're copy pasting everything over. Um, I guess we didn't do that. Not sure. I'm getting it. I know why because I'm still playing it safe. That's why. What do I mean by playing it safe? We have a possibility in Arco Linux to have, well, a testing repo. And the testing repo is not activated. So the package that I want to send in the world is not yet in the full Article X repo, so the public Article X repo is still in testing. So we're still, still trying it out. All right. So no new config has come in yet. Oh, that's a great idea. My idea is, well, we have a backup scale, right? Apply. Okay, done. And now we do another backup scale. We've just applied the new stuff. The video couldn't be better. We do another backup scale. We have three folders. This is the one with the last elements. So the last changes. So one, two, three. Actually, you can go like this and do a compare. Up to three, you can do that. And it, it shows you all the elements. But I think it's going to be too complex. Just take the two lasts and see what changed. This is actually the only thing I've changed in the Arch Linux config Mate kit, that package. So there is a new Planky desktop. We deleted this thing because uh, in the X sessions error, he gave a message of some kind. It's okay, let's get rid of the version then. Only show in XFCE, we're on Mate. And this contains a lot of settings. The user, dconf file, you can open it with dconf editor. In here, what did we change in here? We changed it to surf and arc rather than Sardin Monocolora. And in the menus, we wanted to get rid of something. There was a file called xdve desktop. You click on it, nothing happens. So the application is out. You don't see it in the menu anymore. So that's because, well, it would be confusing having a menu and doesn't do anything. So that's out. And the MIME apps list, we've changed a little bit the MIME apps. What do we do with a video Praga, Forbis Praga, MP4, VLC, and so on. So this stuff is coming from Mate itself. Some of them are pretty um, specific. Let's look for something here. Control find. Here's the Kaja, you see? So Kaja is the file manager, by the way, of uh, Mate. So it opens with that one. So it's specific just for this desktop. So that's all that's changed, but that's not nothing. Let's have a reboot. So now 
ever since everything has been scaled let's be sure that we did it you can keep on scaling i mean doesn't really matter it's just copy paste it over and over and over again so just to be sure um, and then you see a new kind of mate and this is going to be the one from for the release of May if you're building ISOs because it's going to take this file and these settings. There you go. This is going to be the new look and we'll use the surfing icons. I will develop a little bit more because I've seen some icons that I can improve. And that's how we go slowly but surely. Everything looks awesome. And this is going to be out of the box look. This icon needs to be smaller. That one maybe a little bit, those two. But this one I don't like. It's gonna get rid of it. It's too big here. So stuff to change. That's good. Always changing. Now the Ctrl T and the Super Shift Return and the Ctrl Alt V and I don't know the Ctrl Alt uh, P for instance. And what about Ctrl Alt U? great super escape let's kill something super escape let's kill something super escape let's kill something um control you have told already i don't know um and so on and so on i mean it's filled packed also the super x is gonna work shut down the system now yes shut down bomb everything is there the buttons we wanted that we like that we use control alt w Everything is there, it just responds instantly on your touch. And everything, if not to your liking, is in here. The keyboard shortcuts down here. A lot of elements from starting from here have all been put in here. They will just work. Here it ends, custom shortcuts. All right, this is it, I'm out. This is going to be our new Mate look. If you update the system, Remember all the all the things I've told. There's the scale, there's the backup scale. You can make a copy of the config and compare later on. So you learn what's been changed and, and even turn back uh, whatever we changed because it's as simple as just copy pasting it back and rebooting and you have the same settings you had in the past. All right, cheers. Let's first shut down. Super X and shut out because I'm still in VirtualBox and now I can stop the video. All right, bye.